Alright, so back when I started this channel, I made a couple of videos where I talked about scalpers and I also talked about a certain YouTube channel being taken down. That channel belonged to Jim Sterling and the culprit behind the copyright strikes that took his channel down was a game developer by the name of Gilson B. Pontes. Now in that situation, Gilson B. Pontes exploited a weak YouTube copyright system and abused it to the point that it was used maliciously to take down Jim Sterling's channel completely. And all of this was done in retaliation to his videos pretty much thrashing his games based on his opinion on them being just pure utter trash. Keep in mind that this is somebody who does this for a living and when I say that I am referring to Jim Sterling of course. Now luckily nothing bad happened in the long run and Jim Sterling was able to get his channel back just a few days later. I point out this specific incident because it's somewhat similar to what's happening with a video that was posted by John Riggs a few days ago and how shortly after that it was hit with a defamation lawsuit. One of the teams behind Popeye on the Nintendo Switch just threatened to sue me. I wish I was making that up. The video and thumbnail specifically points out that you should not buy this game. In the video, he points out all the details and the specifics as to why you should avoid this game. Even though his video was not hit with copyright strikes to the point of it being taken down, I bring this issue to light because it is another example of a game developer trying to push around and intimidate a YouTube creator just because he had some opinions on a game that they had created. So let's talk about the issue at hand which is pretty much, it's not a good game. It's not. I wish I could sit here and tell you otherwise. It's not. And I was a huge fan of the Popeye game back in the arcades in 84 or whenever it came out. There is absolutely no salvation to this game. There is no positive spin to it. There's no way to look at it from any angle and find any decent comments or reviews to make at the end of the day regarding this game. There just isn't. You don't need to hear some YouTube creator or reviewer telling you how bad it is. The game speaks for itself. You can just look at any trailer on YouTube, any video of somebody playing the game without any comments and you can come to that same conclusion that everybody else is coming to. Do you know what would have made this game better? How about releasing it as a full-fledged game as opposed to the beta version, which is what it clearly is. This game is not finished. It, it can't be finished. Not in this state, no. It's almost like they were halfway done with the game. They had designed all the levels. They had Popeye. They had Brutus. They had Olive Oil. And maybe they were going to lose the rights to Popeye if they didn't release it on time, on a specific date. And so released it in that state that it's in. And it's a shame too because the levels are pretty big to roam around in. It's just too bad that there's no NPCs, no enemies. There's nothing to occupy all that space. It's just empty. You just run around non-stop picking up the hearts or the letters to move on to the next stage. There is absolutely no challenge to this game whatsoever. You run faster than Brutus, so there's no challenge in staying away from him or running away from him. He can't catch up to you. There's no way for him to catch up to you unless you're a complete idiot or you're so bored of the game that you decide to just let him punch you to see what happens. And no, I am not buying this game. I'm not buying it. Yeah, you heard me right, Sabek. I am not buying your game. Heck, how about having the witch, the sea hag, from the original arcade make an appearance in the game? I mean, does she? I haven't seen her in any of the videos. And maybe have her create some, I don't know, ghoulish creatures or something that can come out in the nighttime levels. And have you being chased down by these ghoulish creatures. I don't know, make this game a little more challenging as you collect the hearts. How about, I don't know, adding maybe a couple of pirates, thugs, something in the pirate ship level that you have to beat up as you collect the letters from Olive Oil. How about adding a time limit? I don't know, something. How about adding anything to this game as opposed to leaving it the way it is right now? Instead of wasting your time coming up with a lawsuit and slapping it on somebody that actually bought your game, how about you take the same time and effort into actually improving the game and maybe creating a patch and adding maybe more content to make the game, I don't know, somewhat more enjoyable? Or if you don't want to fix the game, have somebody from Public Relations release a video on YouTube explaining why John Riggs video is wrong when he calls your game a complete mess. 
why not at that point make an argument as to why they should buy the game? Or maybe explain that there is a patch coming out that the game will be improved on. Something. Yeah, unfortunately, it's much easier to just slap a lawsuit on somebody and kind of bully them into having them retract their opinion instead of going through the trouble of actually fixing the game and getting feedback from those people that actually bought your game. Because guess what? At the end of the day, these people that are reviewing your game are the same people that bought the game and they put money into your pocket. Now, I have not heard anything yet on whether John Riggs is looking for legal representation to help him combat this lawsuit, but whatever happens, I hope he ends up okay and that nothing bad happens to his channel. As of this video that I'm making, his, his video on the Popeye review is still up, so I guess that's a good sign? Not sure. I'm a big fan of John Riggs and I see him as one of the most upbeat YouTube game reviewers out there. You can tell that he truly enjoys reviewing games and talking about retro stuff. He always tries to find a lighter side or a positive side to every game and even bad ones, but sometimes that's just not possible and that's exactly the issue with Popeye. I just hope game developers in the future stop trying to silence YouTube creators out there that are just reviewing their games. Having an opinion on a product or a game does not equate to defamation. This is why it's called an opinion and not a fact. If you release a product or a game to the public, you have to understand it's going to be reviewed or scrutinized in some way by somebody out there at some point in time. Especially if it's a bad game like this one. <sighs> what can I say? Popeye, in the end, it's just... It's just lazy work and a horrible, horrible final product to release to the public. There's just no way around it. You can't defend it. That's what you see here on the video. This is the end result of that. And that's not John Riggs fault, is it?